Hello guys, welcome to another video. I just wanted to share something really quick that I learned this week at .dc21. I watched the video the Mystifying Swift UI and it blows my mind. I wanted to share that with you. And I will leave you in the description if you want to check it out. Believe me, worth every second. Let's get started. My name is Pete and this, this is Swift and Tips. All right, here we are in Xcode. Let me show you what I got this time. If you remember, some time ago, we talked about View Builder in Swift UI. It's a really great tool for returning multiple views in a function, for example, because by default, you can get that behavior in body, but you have to explicitly use View Builder in a function. In this case, yeah, we have a function here that is returning uh, opac type view. But if you remember, we also talked about opac types some time ago. And we also mentioned that one of the mm, features that opac types contains is that you cannot return multiple types because, yeah, we are working internally with the concrete type, not with some object that is confirming a protocol. This is just masking your concrete type across the protocol that is confirming. Okay, this question came to me. If we cannot return multiple things with an opac type, then how this is possible? Because here, for example, we have a text view and then we have an image view and we will display one of those depending of what is the condition. So for example, here we have a random boolean. If we got true, we will represent a text. Otherwise, we'll print an image. We can see that pretty quick. Yeah, we got the star here, which is the image. And here we got the text. Nothing serious. But how this is possible? Again, you cannot return multiple things using opac types. You can just return one type this time. For returning multiple things, normally you have to use the protocol. And in this way, you have the flexibility to do that. However, yeah, remember, we cannot use this view protocol right away because it contains a generic constraint. That's why we are using some. Okay, so this is just magic. What's going on here? Okay, let me show you this. Let me actually put here an incorrect return type. And look at this. We are getting that, yeah, of course, this is not an int. This is actually a conditional content. Yeah, this is actually the concrete type of this implementation. What I got after this is that view builder is transforming this conditional if else into one conditional content view in other words you are not returning multiple views you are returning a single view all the time you use if else but instead view builder is transforming your content into something called conditional content and this is a wrapper that will wrap your true case and your false case. In this case, we're returning text if it's true and image if it's false. This is great. So yeah, this is not magic. We are actually transforming or branching into a wrapper view. Let me jump to conditional content definition. And yeah, in fact, we are here in an extension of view builder. And here, yeah, we are converting to conditional content depending of, yeah, the information we provide from if else. And as you can see here, then this is the definition of under the hood is happening. We have multiple functions that are building or if else into a special view that support both cases. I don't know what do you think, but this blows my mind. And now I got a better picture about what is going on with CFUI. So yeah, I'm really happy to discover this, but there is more about the mystifying SwiftUI and I strongly recommend you to watch that video first. Maybe later we will talk about identity and other best practices for SwiftUI. Yeah, I would like to talk about that later. But for now, I just wanted to share that because probably you have the same question like me. So yeah, this is the answer. So that's it for now. So let me know what kind of videos would you like to see next. Uh, if you want to see something more specific about the content of TopTopTC, more about SwiftUI, etc. Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and follow me on Twitter, Swift and Tips. That's it for me. Thank you so much and have a great weekend.